not appropriately named. Anyone looking Expelli for me? Oh, the adventure! Don't bring down! I want my own! You've made a mistake! Some of those uh, wizards are good friends. Next, I want of my own. You will slip <laughs> uh, You pay for that! Accurate. Bombarda, back in the fight! <laughs> Revelio. Huh. The location marked on the map isn't far from here. Stone walls do a prison. Well, if we weren't so forgetful, we'd probably have more, wouldn't we? Should have expected company. Fires. Is that the treasure? You find me. See what we've got. Blazes. 
Perfect. Let's see what we've got. This must be what all the fuss was about. What's this? Some sort of treasure map? Oh, 
wait till Sebastian hears about this. did it. And look, the treasure. I'm not ready for Professor Bin's lecture. I've got my pillow. In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Throughout the many goblin battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. Six hundred and thirty-two. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Cox said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbald Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here in the bell tower entrance hall. Then can all students introduce themselves to this hero? This on a is rumored to be the location of the very first. Father. 
I suppose successful is a relative term, since whoever cast it didn't live to tell the tale. Such as sewing buttons on witches and wizards. Interesting, but not Grimble Dweft. Once challenged a mountain troll, physical chairs. Care to guess who won? This is a centuries old. Can bring her. People have always loved that. So you found Grimbold Weft? Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal Rebellion. but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. Keen eyed students will spot the statue of Sir Hathbuttle of the chin. nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. But alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Goblins and wizard kind will never trust each other. Yes, well, it takes a cauldron to raise a chispurfle, as they say. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of Patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. Looks like we've all gone in another 